We got to change the way we think of starting as young men. If we don't change the way we think starting as young men, the cycle continues and it's getting worse. Do y'all understand America getting worse? More black men are starting to hate one another, kill one another. It's going to take us young out. See, the, the older men ain't doing this. The older men failed us. The older generation before us has failed young black men. That's right. They were born in the 90s. See? The, the men that was born in the 60s, they failed the men that was born in the 70s. They failed me. The white man put cocaine in the neighborhood, they fell for it. They started selling it and end up dying and going to prison. Left me alone to figure this shit out. Right. RT, you good, bro? Big time, do the thing. I've been doing this here, man. Crazy coming back and crack the sky. He come with fire. Baba love, yeah, it got to burn. Yeah, with fire. Damn, where you be dead at? It's in the Bible. I tell you what you're afraid of. A black messiah. Shackles on my damn arm, yokes around my neck, on my feet, so I couldn't run. Me, Shaq, Shaq. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty. I would just like y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So do y'all have kids? Yeah. Is y'all here? Yeah, I am. Yeah, who all out here married? Raise your hand. Yeah, yeah. So there, there's a new thing on the earth. We marrying black women, bro. We know better. We doing better. We're not telling you, look, bro. We telling you it's wrong. It's like we know better, so we doing better. We we understand. We're not saying, look, man, we gonna kill you, bro. You bad. You a bad dude because you got a bad. No, I got three. You see what I'm saying? Well, I'm telling you now. If you know better, you're going to do better. Because, look, hold on, let me listen. Because if you know what I know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 45. I'm double your age, right? Just say, just, he double my age. He, he know more than me. He been here longer than me. So listen to the men that's been here a little longer because we see the traps that they have put in place that's for right. young black men like you. That's right. And one trap was, for me, I had no idea that the first girl I, spoke, I slept with, I was supposed to marry her. Like the Bible just said. Now watch this. This gonna make a difference on how you raise your child. It's gonna make a difference in the outcome of your life. If you go around trying to stick your little ding -a ling and every damn thing moving, your ass got a rude awakening coming for you. That's right. It's called child support. Right. If you don't pay child support, you can't get a license. You Jeez. can't leave the country. Right. You can't you can't enjoy life if you don't pay take care of that child. Which as a grown man, if you if, if you bust a nut in the girl. You just need to take care of the baby. That's right. But we don't think like that. We gonna find another girl gonna bust, let us bust another in her. And next thing you know, you got kids everywhere. These kids don't even know each other, bro. Teach. This is what's wrong with the black community. That's this is right. why when kids get out 20, 18, 20, they don't know who their daddy is. And he join the game or he shoot, end up shooting up the block. Right. He end up going to prison. Right. We got to stop the cycle. And it starts with us young men. That's the right. The old men was struck out on crack and stuff. Bring it up. They, it's time for us as young men to change, bro. That's Listen, right. I'm going to read this again. Because it's not cool to have a, 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 a girlfriend. I thought it was. I was saying, look, bro, I thought I was Mac and Pimpin, everything. I had hoes from every, all over the damn United States. You want me? Just, you know, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but hell, my game was strong. You understand me? My game was strong. And I thought it was cool. But it comes and found out 20 years later, the things that I was supposed to have been doing when I was 20, I didn't learn to do it until I was 40. That's right. Supposed to have been buying a house at 20 like white folks. So I've been owning a business at 25 like white folks. Guess what I was doing? Selling drugs and hitting hoes. Right, right. You don't want to be like that. We out here to show you, bro, it's something different. Listen, read that again. The book of Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Look it and if a man entice a maid. So if a young black man entice, that means shoot your pimping at her, right? You know what pimping is, don't it? When y'all got so many damn lines out here now, it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? That you can go look on YouTube and find a dude. He just walking around throwing lines at women at Walmart, seeing if he can pull her or not. 
Y'all see them, them damn things they got when she at the gas station and he filming, I forgot the dude's name, uh, uh, Huey or something like that. He going around trying to see if he can, he can pull the girls, right? But if you spit your game to her, there is not betrothed. And she ain't promised to be married, right? She ain't got another dude somewhere. Listen. And lie with her. And you lay down with her, you get the skins. You hit her, right? Come on. He shall surely. See, this is what's going to stop a lot of things in the black community. It's going to make us stronger black men that you should surely what? Endow her. They said endow. Who knows endow, man? You know what endow means? Endow. Endow. These are the things you got to think about before you unzip your pants and put your dingaling in the woman. Yeah. The Bible said that you must what? Endow her. We the kings on earth. We're supposed to be the protection for the black woman. Not the damn white man and his damn EBT card. Look, you see the word, we accept EBT on this damn, she, look, we're supposed to be protecting her, feeding her the baby. Not the damn white man and the government and the name We running around here not taking care of our kids, sticking our ding ling we just careless. And the black woman promiscuous and she letting you do it. Listen. You want it down? Yeah, that's the definition of endow. You didn't know what endow means? You didn't know. So the Bible said you should surely endow her. Let's see what that means. Endow. Provide with quality. So you're supposed to be able to endow her. I mean, you got to be able to provide with quality, bro. Not no damn EBT. You're supposed to have a good paying job, an educated man, so you can what provide with quality. EBT going to get you food that you ain't supposed to be eating. EBT going to get you the worst food. You understand that? Come on. Ability or asset, uh -huh. supply or furnish. So you're supposed to be supplying and furnishing her, not her furnishing you. You know what I did? I went and moved in with her. She had the project. She had the house. I was hitting her, uh, and I'm laying with her. They were totally balanced. She's supposed to be, you're supposed to move her in with you, meaning that you're supposed to have your shit together. You're supposed to have your own house. You're supposed to have your own car. But not Negroes. We'll live with her. She take her to work and drive her car around all day and buzz moves. And go pick up and might have some hamburger help her when she gets home. Uh, you know what I'm saying? How the kitchen smell like onions and bell peppers, like you done something. Yeah, but on this sound with onions, bell peppers, and mustard. Yeah. And she thinking, you oh, he just a good man. Until she find out you you hit Keisha too. Listen. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. Man, look. Not a baby mama. His what? His wife. We got to marry the black woman. Right. The white woman, the white man is marrying her. Who you think owns them? You see them building they building down there? Who you think owns them building? White people. What we building? We ain't building nothing. Better gangs. We got better uh, GDs. We got better Fidus, Hoover. We got better 80, uh, 83rd. We got what? We got better Vice Lord. What are we building? Ten cities? Bro, we got to change the way we think if we want to change the black community. Black men, we got, we got, we got how that stick on us, right? Are we going to, who we going to shoot? Who are we looking to kill? Who are we looking to stick up? The same people. White people living in, they riding through here on these damn caravans looking at us like we the zoo. It's time, look, give me that in Romans chapter 12, verse 2. We got to change the way we think and starting as young men. If we don't change the way we think starting as young men, the cycle continues and it's getting worse. Do y'all understand America getting worse? More black men are starting to hate one another and kill one another. It's going to take us young guys. See, the, the older men ain't doing it. The older men failed us. The older generation before us has failed young black men. That's right. They were born in the 90s. See? The, the men that was born in the 60s, they failed the men that was born in the 70s. They failed me. The white man put cocaine in the neighborhood, they failed for it. They started selling it and ended up dying and going to prison. Left me alone to figure this shit out. Right. Now you all are the product of the mess up. But you can change it, bro. That's right. You can change it by coming back to who you are according to God and keeping it law, statutes, and commandments. Well, now, yes, God right. gave us a guide on how to live. God gave us a guide on who to kill. He didn't say kill one another. God gave us a guide on who to love. Right. He didn't say love everybody. Get out. He told us to love a special people. 
Right. And that's your people. Right. It's right. But if you go into the Christian church that was set up by the white man, that's why you learn to love everybody and hate your own people. That's right. That's what we do. That's why when, when, when black men pick up uh pick up a microphone, he go to the yo. Y'all know what I mean when I say the yo, don't yo. he go up in, in the studio. What's the first thing he do when he get the microphone in his hand? Violence. He rap about violence. Right. And he ain't talk right about he ain't rapping about killing white people. See, I rap, who out here do music? Who else out here do music? Well, I do music, I rap about killing white people. <laughs> How about that? It sound funny, don't it? Yeah, I kill the damn a rap. I kill the damn Chinese in my rap. Kill that chick, Chinese chick ass. I kill rap. It sound crazy, don't it? But it sound normal if I was rapping about killing this my 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 uh my young brother right here. Jeez. I'm gonna ride down on him with that stick, with that pole, and I'm gonna blow his ass out. Oh, let's rap about the white people. Let's see if they, let's see if they sign you then. No. And I don't condone violence to nobody. I rap about the destruction of America. When, yes, I, say I, when I say I rap about killing white people, I, I don't literally, literally talk about riding around killing white people. I'm talking about the destruction of America and its government and its system. Right, that's what I rap right. about. Because that's what God tells us to rap about. Right. I'm going to show y'all that. It's like you got some balls on you right now, boy. You like you, you rap? You rap. You rap? Oh, okay. Just like you had a ball on you. I ain't know. Hey, no. Listen to this. You got to head out. Listen to this right quick. The book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It said by the renewing of your mind. You got to renew your mind. The first thing a black man pick up a microphone shouldn't be calling each other hoes, bitches, calling out women, bitches, calling your mama a bitch, calling your sister a bitch, uh, talking about who we going to kill and stuff like that. We got to stop that bull crap, bro. We got to stop it. Give me Psalms 149. Let me show you what we're supposed to be rapping about. Cause people might know what I just think. What I'm saying is foolish. Let me show you what the Bible say, what we should be rapping about. And we got some hot lyrics, bro. I'm talking about, instead of riding around listening to a uh, 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 young boy, riding around listening to uh, uh, Young Dolph and, and uh, Yo Gotti and uh, uh, Ellie Chopper and all that. Look, bro, you, you can pull it out of your phone right now. You can go on YouTube and type in original royalty. And you gonna or you can go on Apple Music. You got Apple Music on your phone? Look it up right now. Look up Business Eye and Judah. That's me. And you're gonna hear some music that you're gonna be like, damn, I like that. Same type of beat, but I'm programming your mind with something else. It ain't about killing him or him or robbing that stove. It ain't about hitting a hoe. You see what I'm saying? It's about America gotta go. You see, I just came with them balls like that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. The book of Psalms, chapter 149 and verse 1. Come on over here, sis. Come on over here. Praise ye the Lord. They say do what? Praise ye the Lord. How do you praise the Lord? How you praise the Lord? Listen to this, brothers. Come on over here. This is the best thing you're going to hear in your entire life. And you're going to walk right past it. Woo. Yo, look, I got I need a million dollars. I think I need a, a Bentley over here. They don't believe me we were sitting over here in the Bentley one. Hey, we had gold chains and gold teeth all in our mouth, jumping around, calling women bitches and hoes. They'll stop. Listen to this. Sing unto the Lord a new song. So the Bible says, praise ye the Lord and sing unto the Lord a new song. What I'm going over with the brothers is how black men the most intelligent man God created. The first thing he do when he pick up a microphone, let me ask you, what you think he do? He go in the studio, what he do? I don't know, I believe in the power of healing crystals, but I don't know. Healing crystals? You don't believe in the power of God? Yeah, I do. The God of who? But I don't believe everything that's in the Bible that they teach you. You gotta be taught. That's why you don't believe it. I used to didn't believe it. You see what I'm saying? And, that, and when you don't believe in the God in the Bible, it makes yourself an atheist. That's what you got. Hold on, let me finish reading this, bro. And his praise in the congregation of saints. Uh -huh. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. So it said, let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Who is Israel? Who is Israel? I know him, but. Who is Israel? It said, let Israel rejoice. Who is Israel, sis? Us. You don't know, right? This whole Bible is about Israel. And who is Israel? Us. It's us. We don't even know it. You see how we don't even know it? Who wrote it? Huh? Who wrote it? Holy men, black men. Holy black men wrote this Bible. Right? Now who reintroduced the Bible to us? It's white people. It's slavery when we didn't know how to read and write. That's why 
Because you don't, don't I don't blame you for not believing in the Bible. Because the white people have tampered with our minds so much, he didn't even let you know that you was Israel. And that's what Israel said. Listen. Let the praise his name and the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. All right, so the Bible says that we're supposed to sing praises with the temple and the harp. We're supposed to make music, come on. For the Lord taking pleasure in his people. Who is his people? The Israelites, the real Jews. The white man ain't the real Jew. He took our, he took our nationality, called him Jewish, and called us niggas, porch monkeys and coons. That's what the Bible is about. Now, what are we supposed to be rapping about? Come on. He will beautify the meat with salvation. Uh -huh. Let the saints be joyful. Uh -huh. Six, come on. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Uh -huh. All right, so the high praises of God are supposed to always be in our mouth. Come on. And a two-edged sword in their hand. All right, and a two-edged sword in our hand. To do what? To kill black people? To execute vengeance. We're supposed to be rapping about executing vengeance on who? Upon the heathen. Upon everybody else. That's what the Bible says. See, it's a new day. is a new song that we're supposed to be rapping about. See, why we rapping about killing, listening to music that's talking about killing one another. You know you're programming yourself to kill somebody, don't you? You know you're doing it, don't you? And you listen to Young Dog and all that music. Hey, yo, God, the girl just got killed. There's an orbiting cycle of stupidity. King Von M, what is the orbiting cycle of death up there in Chicago? This coming to Memphis now is an ordinary cycle of death. They just killed Yo Gotti, oldest brother. I was locked up with the nigga Anthony Mill, Big Juke. I was locked up with him. All right, listen. It's an ordinary cycle of death when you're listening to hip hop music. You don't understand that? Chicago drill, uh, New York drill music, pop smoke and all them, it's an ordinary cycle of death. And our kids are growing up, still want to be a damn rapper. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example.